Good morning, ELQ International. Uh, yes, Mr. Dunn, I was going to call you in a little while. Miss Quartermain said that she could see you on Tuesday at 10 a.m. All right, that's fine. I'll put you down. I'm really sorry that I didn't get back to you sooner. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Hi. Good morning. I'm here to see Mr. Edward Quartermain by appointment. Yes, I know. Does this mean that you're coming back to work here? Well, I don't know. I uh, haven't decided yet. I'm going to pick up my check. I don't know. I'll decide later. I see. Well, I won't offer any advice then. Why don't you sit down for a minute? I'll let him know you're here. Thanks. Sit down. Go ahead. Tell him I'm here, will you? I just have to write out a message. <sighs> Do it myself. How do you get into this? How do you get connected to this office, huh? Once I want you to leave the business negotiations to me. I think I read Luke Spencer very clearly, and I know how he has to be handled. Really? How do you read him? Well, I think he's a hungry young tiger who's eager to claw his way up the ladder as quickly as possible. A prototypical young man from the wrong side of the tracks who's thirsty for upward mobility. Well, I don't think that's too far off, Edward. Yes. Mr. Quartermain, Luke Spencer's here to see you. Thank you, Lauren. Send him in, please. Leave this interview to me now. That's fine with me. Good morning. Well, Luke, good morning. It's good to see you. Thank you, Alexandria. Hello, Luke. Sorry I can't stay and talk, but I just have a million things to do. I'll let you two men stay and talk things out. <laughs> well, Luke, sit down. I hope that pitiful show of female gentility wasn't for my benefit. No, no, she had some European calls to make and they were very important. Frankly, I'm glad to have this chance to talk to you privately. Thank you. I'm here for my check. Is it ready? Well, it will be. We'll have it drawn up first and then uh, talk business afterwards. I'm sorry about this delay. I love my room. Oh, I'm so glad. Now, if you need anything at all, you know, extra pillows or blankets or anything, your mother knows where everything is. No, I'll, I'll be fine. Good. Are you going out? Yeah, I've got to go to work. You be all right? Yes. Mom's upstairs making up a bed for me right now. She said that she'd be down a little bit. Good. You don't know what a switch this is from hospital life. <laughs> yes, I can imagine. Well, now, Gail is going to be picking Kathy up at the airport any minute now, and she'll bring her over here this morning. I'm sorry I won't get to meet her, but I'll see her tonight. Hope you guys get along. Oh, I know we will. I can't imagine not getting along with anyone out here in the real world. Oh, dear. Well, now, Heather, I better warn you about something. We are not all perfect. I don't know how to thank you enough. Well, I tell you one thing you could do. Is stop calling me Dr. Weber and call me Leslie the way you used to. Oh. All right, Leslie. Thanks. That's a pretty name. Thanks. That awful. Right. Here we are, sisters-in-laws, and, and I don't even have any memory of you. Were we very close? Well, I, I think we always got along. I mean, did we spend time together? You know, shopping, having lunch, things like that? Well, no, but, but we were both busy people. Yes, of course, it's silly of me. Well, it seems very strange to me, you know, talking about ourselves in the past as if we didn't exist right now. Uh, goodness, I've got to run. I'm so late. I just will have a lovely long talk tonight when I get home. Really? Aren't you going to the Quartermain Christmas party? No. How did you know about that? Heard everyone talking about it. Uh -huh. Jeff, Susan, even my mother. Oh, yes, of course. Well, no, I'm not. I thought it would be nicer to stay here and get reacquainted with you. How nice. 
thank you. You're welcome. I will see you this evening. Have I got everything? Yeah, I guess so. You take your time. Oh, no, I need this. And uh, sort of get your bearings and just have a really happy day, okay? Well, so I... You too. Alice, I'm leaving now. Okay, Dr. Weber. See you this evening. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Heather, oh. are you, uh, all right, honey? Oh, I'm fine. Well, uh, I've just got a little more work to do upstairs. Oh, why don't you go right ahead and do it? I'll be fine. I'll just sit right here, and I don't need anyone to watch me. Of course you don't. Uh, I won't be long, though. All right. residence. Hello, this is Wyndham's apartment store calling, and uh, I have a present to deliver to a P.J. Taylor, and I need to confirm the delivery address. Oh, it's 1512 Richmond Street, apartment 56. Uh, lovely. Uh, will someone be there to receive the package? Well, I'll be here. I'm the babysitter. But I have to take the baby to the park at 2 o'clock, and I probably won't be back before 4, so could you try to deliver it before or after then? Ah, uh, yes, I'm sure something can be arranged. Thank you for your help. Well, the Christmas decorations are just lovely, aren't oh, they? Oh, good, thank you. Diana? <clears throat> oh, thank you. By the way, have you heard anything from Jeff about bringing Heather home? No, I haven't heard anything about it so far. Well, we're very anxious to find out if he got her here, all right? So am I. You're not too thrilled by the prospect, are you? I'd be lying to you if I said I was. I know it sounds petty, but I guess that's really the way I feel. Well, we understand. It is going to be a period of adjustment for a lot of people around here. Morning, everybody. Well, well, we were just asking Diana if she'd heard from you. Yes, how was the homecoming? It oh, all went off fine. I'm sorry I didn't give you a call, but I figured you'd want a first-hand report. By all means. How did she react to being back? Well, fine, fine. She was calm and relaxed, and uh, she seemed to hit it off real well with Leslie. Did she remember Leslie? No, no, not at all. She's trying real hard, so I'd appreciate it if we could all maybe help her feel welcome. Oh, oh yes, yes, of course we will. Are you going to be seeing her again tomorrow? Well, as a matter of fact, I thought it might be a good idea if I met with uh, Kathy Summers and maybe spent some time with Heather on her first day back. Well, Anne's going to be very disappointed if you do that. Uh, I mean, she bought a brand new dress for the Quartermain's party. Well, I really wanted to get Jeremy something special for Christmas this year, so I thank you for the suggestions. Oh, it's not really presents he wants so much as to be able to play a little league with the uh, rest of the kids that are sitting on the bench playing water boy, you know. How is his heart murmur? It's still there. Um, Rick checked him over last week, and uh, nothing's changed. That's such a shame. Oh, no, Jeremy's being very brave about it. His activities are a little restricted, and they will be for a while, but um, it won't be after it's cleared up. So how are things with you otherwise? Oh, I'm fine. Fine, really. Couldn't be better. <laughs> well, that good? Yeah, fine. Don't try and kid a kid. Things aren't all that good, and I know it. How? Well, for simple deductive reasoning, for one thing. I mean, you've got to be a little bit on edge. Today is Heather's first day home from the hospital. Yes, that's true. And I uh, have had some more flies, I must admit, all morning. I am trying to keep up the front for Jeff's sake, you see. Well, it's fine for Jeff's sake. That is commendable, but this is Joe, not Jeff. So just relax and be yourself, huh? Extend invitations like that, I might just take you up on it. I wish you would. So how's Jeff doing, or is he busy putting up a front, too? Oh, Jeff, I'm sure is more concerned than he's letting on. 
The thing is, we are trying to look at this thing positively. It might just speed things up. We hope so. What things? Well, the, the day that Jeff can go to Heather safely and ask for a divorce and tell her he wants to marry me. Well, I wish you luck, whatever you do. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Are you going to go to the quartermaid's party? Oh, you bet. I wouldn't miss that. Are you going to go? Sure. How, how often does a poor old Irishman like me get an invitation like that? You bet I wouldn't pass it up. Here's Jeff now. Uh, it's Jeff. It's yes. Just, <laughs> there he is. I'm back. How'd it go? Went fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll leave you two alone. Hey, come on. Don't let me run you out of here. No, no. I've got some business to go take care of. Thank you take for care. the coffee. My pleasure. So long. Bye. Bye. So, sit down and tell me how the homecoming went. didn't run into any problems. The doctor made some suggestions about not pushing Heather to remember things, and then we all piled in the car and came on home. She uh, asked a lot of questions, and we tried to fill her in as to what to expect. Mm -hmm. um, how was she when, when she got to Leslie's? Well, it came off pretty smoothly. Her mom was a little misty-eyed, but uh, Leslie handled it beautifully. Just casual enough so everything didn't seem so altogether important, you know. Mm. I think she and Heather are going to get along fine. Oh, I hope so. I do. Uh, was um, Heather's companion there, too? No, no. Uh, Gail had gone to the airport to pick her up, but she hadn't gotten back by the time I left. I wonder what she's like. Yeah, so do I. And I was uh, thinking it might be a good idea if I... Uh, if I meet her and get to know her a little bit. The, Dr. Nelson wants me to spend as much time as possible with Heather while she's home for the holidays, help her adjust to the outside world. You see, I'm making that your responsibility? Well, he, he uh, kind of did, yeah. But Annie, I think it is anyway. Oh, I see. Listen, um, what I'm leading up to is, uh, would you mind if we were a little late to the quarter main party tonight? Late? No. No, I'm, that's fine. How late? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe an hour or so. It wouldn't be too polite, Jeff. Yeah, I just think that I should spend a little time with Heather. I mean, it's her first day back and everything. I know. I, I understand, really. What, why don't we do this? Why don't I go to the party ahead of you and, um... Just show up whenever you can, okay? Okay, if you don't mind. I just hope you're not too late. No, 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 I'll, I'll come as soon as Heather's in bed, okay? When do you think that will be? Well, I don't know, it's her first day out. She'll probably be very tired. Uh, Nelson said she should try and get as much rest as possible while she's home. So I'll, I'll just make sure she's in bed early, okay? Whatever you think you should do, Jeff. Well, you're here. Yes. <laughs> well, we got caught in a little traffic at the airport. No. Uh, Mrs. Grant, this is Kathy Summers. Kathy, this is Heather's mother, Alice Grant. Hello, Mrs. Grant. Hello, Kathy. Welcome to Port Charles. Thanks. Dr. Weber had to go on to the hospital, but she's really looking forward to meeting you this evening. <laughs> is um, Heather around? Oh, yes, just to say, Heather, Kathy's here. Come on in. Heather. This is Kathy Summers, and this is my daughter, Heather Weber. Hello, Heather. How do you do? Hello, Heather. Honey, this is Dr. Adamson. She's an old friend. Uh, she's married to Lee Baldwin now. Oh, I'm afraid I, I don't remember you. I guess I should be wearing a sign saying I don't recognize anyone. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's all right, Heather. I, I understand. It's uh, nice to see you again. You're looking very well. Thank you. Let me take your coat. Okay. Great. You know, it's uh, such a mild day outside. I, I was thinking maybe you'd like to get outside, get some fresh air, maybe even take a walk. Would you like to do that, dear? I'd love to. I, if it's all right with Kathy, maybe we could even do a little Christmas shopping. I've got so much of it I have to do. Well, do you think you're up to that? I, I mean, uh, 
You know, it gets so hectic in the stores with this rush. It's Christmas. Wouldn't bother me. But I kind of like it when the stores are crowded. Oh, uh, do you have any money? Yes, I've been saving the money they're paying me for working in the laundry room at the sanitarium. <laughs> I'm on vacation from the hospital. I don't know if they told you. Yes, I know all about it. Would you mind if we went shopping, Mom? No, <laughs> not if you feel you're up to it, baby. As long as it's all right with Kathy. Oh, let's do anything you want to do. I'm your companion. Besides, it'll give me a chance to see a little of Port Charles. Yeah, me too. I don't remember any of it. So I guess we're both kind of strangers here. Then we'll explore together. When would you like to go? What about this afternoon, say between two and four? Ah, that sounds great to me. But since we're both unfamiliar, let's make sure we get some directions before we leave. Oh, well, that's no problem. I have a city map in, in my car that you have. Thank you. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, if you both just walk straight through the park, you will come to the most gorgeous shopping mall. It's the uh, Port Charles Plaza, and, uh, well, it just has lovely stores in it. Oh, sounds wonderful. That'll give you two a chance to get to know each other. That is a wonderful idea. <laughs> that is it. You must be careful now not to tire uh, yourselves out. <laughs> I'll make sure we don't, Mrs. Grant. It's kind of nice to have plans for this afternoon. Yes, it is. Well, now that I've gotten you settled, I really will have to be going to the hospital. <laughs> Thank you so much for picking me up. Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. I'll be talking to you. And Heather, you have a good time today, and I hope you get all your Christmas shopping in. Thank you. It was very nice meeting you, Mrs. Baldwin. I mean, meeting you again. Yes, well, bye, Heather. Bye, Kathy. Bye. Thank you for everything. Yes, you're welcome, Mrs. Grant. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. She's so pleasant. Oh, yes, indeed, she is. Well, I, I think I'm going to buy myself a new dress for Christmas Day. I want to look extra nice, and Jeff promised he'd spend the whole day with us. Oh, good. That's nice. I guess it's not going to be quite as exciting spending the night at home here as it would be going to the Quartermain's Christmas party, but it'll be fun to dress up. Yes, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll all dress up. <laughs> it's a shame, though. I mean, it all sounded like their party was going to be so glamorous. I wonder why I wasn't invited. Is it because they didn't know me very well? Thank you, Laura. Well, there you are, Luke. Paid in full. You don't mind if I check and make sure all the zeros are here, do you? <laughs> now, before we discuss the possibilities of your coming back to work for us, I have something I want to show you. Laura, why don't you come along, too? I think this will interest you. What is it? It's a surprise. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Here it is. Well, you spelled it right. <laughs> Luke, shall we go in? I don't get it. It's part of the inducement to get you to come to work for us full time. This is for me. Nobody else? Well, well, well. I'm, uh, I'm trying not to look impressed. <laughs> well, I'm impressed. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's all right if you like offices. Did an outsider join the party? Party? Are we having a party? Is this champagne? You bet. Just a little bottle to christen your new office. Well, Lucas Lorenzo, what do you think of it? What are you people trying to do to me? Just, uh, very simple. We're trying to buy you, Luke, for a very good salary and a chance to buy into the quarter main stock, if you prove to be as valuable to us as we expect you to be. Well, I guess I'll be getting back to my desk. Oh, um, Mr. Spencer? Yes, Miss Baldwin? I think that I should tell you something. Okay. Well, real executives seldom put their feet up on the desk. Well, I like to break molds. Oh, does that mean you're going to take the job? I don't know. I like the desk. The chair is swell. 
I think I'll try the job for one week.